Hi guys, hope you're all safe and well, enjoying the lovely weather, back out on the golf courses. It's just fantastic now for golf, it's just, we've all been itching to get out. I've got a treat for you tonight, it's a session with Lee Sharp, the ex-Manchester United legend. Sharp pinching it back from Dixon, it's a beauty! <laughs> Lee Sharp, Patrick hunting. In there, Robson right in there, Sharp in there! Lee Sharp now for Manchester United, and that has settled it. And Harry's Heroes legend, just been on TV on ITV the last couple of weeks uh, in that victorious Harry's Heroes legends team against the Germans. So it's been an exciting couple of weeks. On the day that the game against the Germans was aired, myself and Lee did a Zoom lesson, an online lesson. Now I know I don't normally do these lessons. And you'll see why, and I apologise for the audio, there was a lot of digital interference, the connectivity, there was some issues there, so it doesn't run exactly smooth, and that's that's why I've not been offering it on a wider scale. Uh, but we've put subtitles on this, so you'll get all the information, it's really content rich, and there's going to be there's some great exercises there for, to help you with your pitching. And you'll see the transformation in Lee's pitching. Now Lee Sharp, new chance! I'm just not getting close enough from 100 yards in. So we need to look at, we need to look at your pitching, pitching technique. And you mentioned your driving, you said, you said you're not driving too bad, but we can look at the full swing a little bit. You make a few swings. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not driving too bad, but I'm having a couple of uh, duck hooks and blocks. So I'm obviously handsy still. Yeah. And then maybe putting my putter doesn't feel like it's I'm connected to it. It feels like I'm just waving a piece of metal at someone. Okay, so that's set up the putting. Um okay, so we'll start off with some pitching. Yeah, all right, so, do you, so do you want me to put the camera on the tripod? Yeah, let's do that. And we'll just go face on. So what are you doing in the, just chipping over your putting green? Chipping on the putting green, yeah. Oh, perfect. Gonna play a few chips. Yeah. This feels just feels a bit disconnected. Yeah. You know what I mean? How far is that shot? It's not far, is it? No, it's it's landing like maybe eight yards. But I've got the club base wide open. What you got six there? Yeah. Right, just hit ten. <laughs> when you look when you look at this when you look back at this lane, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about in a second. You're gonna it's gonna just stand out to you. What I want you to do is get a ball, just pick a ball. You want to get what? I want you to pick a ball up, I'll show you what I want you to do. So you pick a ball up. Well, just right-handed, side on, and I want you to just throw it. So you're going to play the shot with your right hand as a throw that you want that you that you were just intending to play with the club. And you're going to what I want you to do is I want you to play the exact same shot. You get to read the whole the whole shot just with your hand. You don't use the club. And we're putting this down. Yeah, you can do. And side on, and just play it, play it, play it as a throw with the right trajectory. Right, that's it. Now you're doing it this way. I want you to start. I want to use. I want you to use the wrist as well. 
Don't you go, I want you to use the wrist to throw it. Yeah. Really? That's not good. <clears throat> So Lee, what you're doing is what you're doing here is you're making a big movement for a small throw. So what you've done is you've, you've taken out what you've, you've locked out basically your wrist, you've lost out of the lever, and now you're using the using the arm from the shoulder. So now you've got to make a lot of swing to get the distance you want, but if you use the wrist. Yes. That way. That's it. Got ya. And notice how the body's quieting down. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, much better. Oh, just that get the ball. So think about it. if you're playing darts, Lee, or you're throwing balls into a bucket, short distance, you're not going to be making massive movements. To throw a ball a short distance, you can do that. Yeah. Okay, so just using the minimum, of, that's it. I want, you to, I want you to play around with the economy of effort. I want you to make, make it as effortless as possible. How easy, how little movement can you make to play this shot? Wow, yeah. Less than that, even less effort. That's it. That's it. Feel different? Wow, yeah, massive, massive. And notice where the power's coming from. Notice what your legs did then. When you look back at this video, it's going to look like two different people. It's going to look like night and day. You're going to notice it's going to stand out so much. Just do it again, do it. Notice where the power comes from. It, it, feels, it feels like I'm not even taking a back swing. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. So now what we're going to do, same thing, but we're going to do it at different heights. So you're going to go high, like a little parachute throw, just like up in the air, just landing the dead top. Then land it on the green way and get it to bounce off the green, and then get it to bounce on the green and shoot off the green. So you go like this high shot, medium, and then low. Notice where the power's coming from, the way it's here, how the body's moving. Brilliant. Even lower, go for the low, that's it. Yeah. And then how your body moves, it's all body. Yeah, it's all, it's all that, isn't it? That's how you're probably experiencing it. It's different for everyone, but what, you, what we're doing is we're just exploring where the movement is originating from. Before, it was more through just the arm, and now your whole body's moving. You're starting to feel, the body starts to feel yourself pushed from the ground. So what I want you to do now, you know those elbow pads? Yeah. Get those elbow pads, and we're going to put them under the balls of your feet. So what we're doing with Lee is we're getting into experience, different movement patterns to generate that shot, to create that shot. So different movement patterns to generate forces. And now we're going to start to amplify that feeling where you're getting those forces from. So these little elbow yeah. pads. Perfect. I've got my knee pads. And where, where are they going to go? So they're going to go underneath the balls of your feet. So you, you put them down like yeah. that. So you're going to you're going to you're going to you're going to be like a trampoline. You're going to feel like a spring. Right, right on the balls of my feet. Underneath the balls of your feet, and then what will happen is when you push your foot down, it will spread, and you'll be able to feel. 
you'll just get a better feel for the force that you're applying and that's getting applied back to you in the ground. Just under the balls of your feet, please. Yeah, not quite as far forward. Just the balls and toes. Then move yeah. back a bit. That's better. So just, that's it. Balls of your feet. And just do this again. And then we're going to do that again, yeah. And all I want you to notice, I want this when you do this, I want you to notice how much pressure you're applying. So think of it as, think of the pressure as 50-50 when you start. And when you play the high one, where do you feel the pressure? Where are you pushing more, right or left? And how much? Is it 50-50? Is it 70-30? Is it 80-20? Then you go for the medium, then you go for the low. Okay, and I want you to think about where is your weight set up, and then where is your weight as you play the down, play, play the throw. Remember to use the wrist, use the hand, minimal effort from the arm. That's it. Less effort. That's better. What feedback did that give you? What's well, it gives me like a there's hardly any backswing, yeah, and it's sort of it's this right hip that's sort of pushing it. Okay. When when you feel yourself, can you feel yourself, or can you feel when you're pushing the pads to give you the power for the throw? Yeah, so it, it it feels quite light to me. Yeah. Cool. So just what that's doing is just giving you a better sense of how you feet and working with the ground. You feel the force better. You can feel. The amount of pressure you're applying and when you're applying it and where the pressure's going. Is it on your left leg? Or is there a lot of is there a lot of force coming from your right leg? Or do you feel the push from the right? Do you feel a push off the left? I feel... where you, and where do you feel your body weight is when you push in? Is it on your left leg when you push off your left? Is it on your right side when you push off your right leg? Where do you feel your body yeah. weight? The uh it's something about my right pushing me onto my left, so I'm feeling the pushing me right for the stability on my left. So do you feel a push off your left as well? No, no, not yeah. there. Just, just in, into the ground with my left. And the right pushing. And it pushes with the right. And what's it like when you go? What's it like? What's the difference between the high and the low skimmer? Uh. It probably just just feels like I'm maybe staying back a bit more for the high one. Okay, so, the, so your weight's a bit more on the back back uh, pad as you so you, as you push off the pad, or or more my hip my hips come forward a bit more. Right. Okay. Cool. Now let's get your golf club, Lee. Let's get your club back out. Yeah. We're getting 60, yeah? Yeah. Am I, am I using the pads for this? Yeah, we'll use the pads. It's even better because you're bare foot. You get you a right? really good feel and a really good feel with the pads. It's good for practicing bare foot when you're. Uh, Doing the short game. So, you know, when you're letting go of the ball, then whereabouts 
in relation to your body is your leg going forward. Where what? So when you were throwing the ball, whereabouts was that release when you let go? Whereabouts was that in relation to your body? Was it over here when you let go? Was it back here? Where was it? Over here. So maybe to move the ball forward and use that as a release point. And then I want you to use the same level of effort that you felt earlier, as in as little, as little effort as possible. Use the pads, use that pressure from the pad. So get a little ball there, have you got some ball there? That's it. Move that, move that, let's play around with that ball position. Where would it be? If you want to release it later, so move the ball further forward in your stance, maybe. Wow. Now, I want you to take your left hand off and just do it with your right hand, Lee. And as little effort as possible. Feel different. It's coming off really nice. So, think about the, really, you know, are you trying to hit a ball higher or where will, what way you watch your trajectory here? Uh, we're we'll trying to hit one high. Okay, so let's get the ball forward. Now, the body's giving us a bit of a clue to what it wants to do. Just let's go back to just pretending you don't have to actually throw me, but let's just imagine we throw it. Just hold the club in your left hand. And now I want you to throw, but at the point of when you let go of the ball, stop. Where would you let go for the high shot? Stop there. Now that's how we're going to start with the club in the hand on the ground. That's how you're going to start. Okay, but you're going to put the club to the floor, put the club to the ground behind the ball, but your hands are feeling that right wrist feels very similar to how it just did when you were throwing. That's better. And then play the shot. <laughs> Now let's move that ball more way. Let's shift it forward even further. Let's really go for it. That's it. That's really only putting the left ball out in front of your left now. Just one sec, Lee. How did this feel? Just imagine you just feel that, feel that release with your right hand first. Take, yeah. Take, take your pull out your hand. Where's that? Where's that release? What's it feel like? There. Now put the club in. Now play it. Minimum effort. Oh. Gone in the hole. Oh. <laughs> feel there. Obviously awesome, but how did you? What well, was the difference in your movement? What did you feel different? Well, initially it feels like you can't reach it. <laughs> feels like feels like I'm going to thin it. Does it feel like your hands are back here? Yeah, it feels feels like I'm I'm like like this. Now notice when you threw it. Practice your throw again. Notice where your wrist is. Look at where you rest when you let go of the ball. Look at your right wrist. Just do it again. Show me. Hold it there. Now you only at the point where you've let go of the ball, Lee, or you let go of the ball earlier. Where would you stop exactly where you let go? For a, for a high one or a low one? A high one, but earlier, you're only using your wrist. Well, there's, not, there's not a lot of movement. Yes. Okay. 
So feel that, feel how that wrist is. Does that should release? Now put the club in. Right hand. Now put your club in. So watch me, mate. Watch me do this. So you throw. And where I would let go of the ball, that's what I want to feel here. Okay, the body is telling you where he wants to be for its release. Yeah. And now that's how the wrist should be when you set up to the ball. Like that. And it's like uh, it's like cracking a it's like cracking a whip or it's like a it's like a Bruce Lee one inch punch. Right, it's all the power is at the bottom where the release is, where the snap is. So it's like snapping a when you, when you come in on football pitch and you're in locker room and you bait and you're giving one with towel. It's like that. Okay, it's there. Bang. And set it up. Bang. And feel that right wrist. Yeah. And now use that right wrist. So you need to move your ball position to let you get that right wrist position. Where's the ball in the right wrist? Because it does it. And off you go. Now let's play around with the angle of your swing leg. Let's try and play, let's try and put fade swing on a fade swing on it. Try and put slide spin on the ball. We get the balls. Yeah, let's get them. So you can see what we're doing. Getting lead to feel the release. Adapt his setup around what his intention is. So Lee's not really had his focus on his intention, which means he's not really set up the ball in response to that intention. So now we've got to be more focused on the intention. So everything we're doing, Lee, is geared around the intention of the shot. So there's a different setup for every shot, and it depends what shot you want to play as to how you're going to stand to the ball, where the ball's going to be, and how you're going to release the club. So it's having, first of all, a clear picture of what you want to do, and then we're going to explore and find out what is the best way for you to play it. So let's get back on the uh, pedals, on the elbow pads. Okay, yeah. Now, when you do that, Lee, that was really good. I want you to do it with more intent. I want you to do a real short, sharp, boom, throw it up in the air. You don't have to throw it, just go through the motions of doing it. Okay. And just feel, feel how you're applying that pressure, feel the intensity of it, the timing of it. And again, I want you to stop though. You're following through me. I want you to stop when you would let when you would have let go of the ball. Yes. Yeah, now go fast to that place again. Back and through, fast. Without the foot. Yeah, back and through. Stop though where you would let go of the ball. There and again. Good. Can you feel it's like it's like a flick? Yeah. With real intention to where you would have let go of the ball. And notice how you're using the pads. Yeah. Right there, don't move. Put your club in. To where your right wrist is. That's it. Just bring the club down. That's where you want the ball. Lee, you know when you this is this is telling you where your ball position should be. When you let go of that ball. Where that place is, where that wrist is, where that is, bring the club down, where you want the ball for the shot. Obviously, we're not going to go outside the feet to stand to it, but it's going to go way forward from where you've had it.
So more intention, shorter, sharper. Okay, now I want you to play, imagine you're playing, you don't have to move your feet, please, but imagine you're playing a big slice, trying to put as much cup spin on the ball as you can. And now let yourself expand the swing to what feels comfortable. You want what? And now you can ex you can lengthen the swing a little bit to what feels comfortable to you. What feels natural? Feel that now that wrist, that's your, that's your set up. Just watch me, Lee. Notice the way I angle of my shaft here. When I do this to throw it up, look at the wrist, the shaft is going to be like this. Not going to be like that. So if I'm throwing the ball up and I stop where I want to let go of the ball, Look at my wrist, look at my shaft, it's going to be like this. Yeah. It's not going to be like that. Yeah. If I was throwing it lower, at the point of release, where I let go of the ball, bang, stop, let go of it, look at now, I put the ring, now I put the club in and put it down. Look, that looks totally different. I can set up like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we're adapting the angle of the club, the shaft lead, the way that you set up. It's about how you're really set up to it. That's it. Now use the pushing from the pedals from those elbow pads. That will be through. Uh, yeah. That's landing soft. And what's the swing feel like in comparison to normal? Just feels very open. Is it? Well, let's go, let's explore even further. Let's go more open, not with the face, but with your shaft. So you know to open it, Lee. I think what you mean by open is more this. As in the face, it's more up, like the shaft. The jar, the typical term would be more laid, the shaft would be maybe laid back, there's less, the shaft lean is here. Try that. That was great. That felt all right, that hit the flag. Right, next one, stop the set. Now you're going to do a little, a little uh, exercise with the ball. You're going, to imagine, you're going to set up. Imagine you're throwing it for the shot. What's the release like? We're going high. Put the club in, grip it, then play it. Right. So you're not setting up the ball. I need to where you let go of the ball. I to what? Where you are going to grip the club, Lee, is where you want to let go of the ball when you're throwing it, like this. That's where I'm going to go from. <laughs> what was that like? That was different. 
Build up release first. Start from your release now. Put, that's it. Put the club in. Put the club in now. Play from there. Play from the release. I can hear the cogs turning, Lee. I can see it. What's, so tell me what you're thinking now. Well, I, I, I don't think in general I'll let the club end go past me. Right. I think I'm sort of like this. Can and I hold it off? More like that. Right. You're like holding it off. I'm like this, yeah. Now, I think what that does, Lee, think what that does to your speed. You're holding something off. Where's the speed and the power coming from? I've got to make a big speed. I've got to make a big movement. I can't yeah. do this. You've only been using a certain part of the system. You've not been using the whole body. Yeah, totally. That's so different, isn't it? Yeah. Feel good. Lee, how's it feel? Does it feel good? Yeah, it just, yeah. It just feels like I can let it go a bit. Awesome. Now, mate, now try and really get your power from the feet. Try and push those pedals more now. Use that push to get that release for the club head. Think of your push, you're pushing with your feet. So release that club, that club head. No, the dog's eating the balls. <laughs> Best go and grab them quick. <laughs> right. We're going to just expand your swing a little bit because that's more for short range. So we're yeah. going to expand this. So we're just going to feel where the body movement wants to come from. I just want you to take the club out in front of you and hold it like this. Show the weight. So knuckles up. Not that way, that way, yeah, on top. On top. Just put your hands on that, say. That's what you just twist. But I don't, Lee, I don't want your arms to outrage your body. Watch me. So you're not doing this. Everything moves together. You reengage your arms. That's it. Hold your arms out pretty straight. Everything moves together. Just small turn. That's it. And what I want you to do is I want you to just Tilt forward and rotate everything at an angle that feels right for a golf shot. Where's the ball? This club should be kind of on angle to the ball. Now, why you do it even shorter? Don't make as much movement, not as much turn, Lee. Watch me, don't rotate as much, but do it quicker. And I want you to go really low, I want you to, want you to tilt even more to the ground. And then I want you to come back up to where you feel comfortable for the ball. And then smooth it off. And notice how your body's moving, notice how your trunk is moving. Can you feel any side bend? Can you feel any light crunch like this? Yeah, yeah. Can you? Yeah. Does that feel different to how you normally turn? Yeah. So when we want to start using the body for power, we want to start using the trunk. 
the torso rotation. We want to get a feel for how does the body want to actually move to swing the club down. Am I, am I swinging my arms this way, Lee? Or am I swinging my arms that way to the ball? What's the, and how does the body feel when you're actually swinging your club down, your arms down to the ball and through? Do it, do it, that's it. That feel a bit different. Yeah. Yeah. Does it feel like you've got more side bend? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm usually, I'm usually sort of like this. Right. Whereas that feels more in it. Now notice when you're throwing the ball. Just imagine you're throwing the ball with your right hand and notice where you are when you let go. The way you are. You're not here, are you? No, I'm there. So all, all we're really doing is just shifting your awareness onto yourself a little bit of what your body wants to do. Now we have a few swings feeling that, that movement. Just short swings like pitch shots, three quarter pitches. That's it. And what's, what's noticeable to you there in comparison to what you normally do? Uh, just seems shorter, like a half swing. More compact. Have you, so now we're on to the foot pads, go on to the elbow pads. And notice how it feels with your pressure when you do that movement. Let's do this first, Lee. Let's do this exercise. I want you to go to arms out straight, Lee, shoulder width. And your trunk and your arms, so don't bend your elbows, your trunk and your arms move together. And then I want you to see your own paths. Now I want you to start off horizontal and gently go down and down and down until you absolutely down 90 degrees to the ground. And then come, come back up to where you feel comfortable. Come back up to where you feel natural for the ball. That's it. Notice, notice where it takes you. Notice how the trunk it also feels. And the hips. Be aware of how you're pushing, where your pressure is on, how you're using those pads. Cool. Now take your club. Start from that release. And just make a practice swing back and through. To finish. Cool. Now let's play a shot. Have you got a ball? Yeah. Let's play a little shot. Obviously, we can't do a big one, otherwise, we're going to be knocking into next door. But just start again. Just do a, another love shot. But this time, your attention is on how that torso is moving. I would say, how does the torso feel at the end? What's it feel like in the finish? Swing to the finish for me. Good. Hold it there, grip, yeah, that's it. Hold it, grip the claw. Just grip it down, Lee. Now, without stopping, back and through to that same place. You don't have to get a ball, you can just do a practice swing. So feel the finish. What's the finish feel like for this three-quarter block? Yes. Hold the finish. Notice where the finish is. Notice where the body is, the arms, the weight and the feet. That feel different. Massive. Get another ball in now. 
Let's play it. And all I want you to think about this shot, Lee, is the finish. You can drop the pads now, flick, you can kick the pads back, don't bother with the pads, kick them back, play that shot now. And us watching as viewers should be able to tell just from your finish what shot you've just played. Purely from your finish, we should be able to tell what shot you've played. How's that? That was lovely, it just landed soft and spun back from about five yards away. Oh, oh awesome. Backspin now, you're showing off. You're getting, yeah. You're getting fancy. I never, when I, whenever I eat it, I never ever feel like I'm this way. And is that what you're feeling now? Yeah, and, that, and that's what I feel now, like this. Whereas when I eat it on the course, I'm never like that. And we've not told you why to do that. We've just been exploring different movement patterns. How it feels, yeah. where it feels right for you. And your setup looks differently. The way you set it up now, you've got you've got intention. In fact, just me looking at you, I can see what you mean to do, what you're meaning is behind the shot. What what yeah. you need to do. Before you were kind of set up the same way for the different shots. Oh, that's nearly a PK cap, that one. That's gone five yards with a bit of backspin. Oh, brilliant. Is that a shot before, Lee, that you would have found a bit more difficult? Oh, yeah. Because if you were to ask me before you even played a shot before, what shot do you think I'm playing, Marcus? I thought you were trying to meet it well all the time. Do what? You know, if you were to ask me, oh, look, Mark, before we did this, if you said to me, Marcus, what shot do you think I'm playing here before you even swung, just from the way you stood up to it, Lee? I'd have said, I'd have thought you were hitting it low every time. Hello? Yeah, just from the okay. stud, load of shaft clean, ball back, lots of movement with the body, not really using this, this fine motor control, this fine skill, this dexterity here, this finesse. You weren't yeah. using this, you were using uh, everything, just a big movement. Yeah. So we, what we're getting is that fine touch. That's what we're asking. That's, that's, that's what I've felt. I've had, I've had a lot of movement for very little consistency and probably lacking in power and I feel I'm not I'm not efficient enough. Yeah. You think if you were throwing a dart way, you'd have been doing this. You'd have been like throwing a dart like this. Instead of just yeah. like that. But I've, but I've, but it's because I've been thinking I need to get wide. So I think I think it's not it's trying to go wide in it rather than like just coming here. Whereas it all does it for you if you just. Yeah, it's great. I mean, I don't want to get into technicalities, but when you when you release your your golf club, it widens out. It yeah. Naturally. Yeah. Okay, but because you've not been letting this naturally just shallow. You've been holding it. You've had to try and create the shallowness. Yeah. That's just playing havoc with your low point. So you're doing yeah. like thinning or catching a bit of ground before the ball. Or yeah, I have been struggling with your stride as well. Yeah, I have been. Yeah. Try and imprint that finish in your mind, Lee. From what? Just, just try and just try and imprint that finish in your mind how you feel. Yeah. 
Yeah, just got about seven yards and spun back two yards. That must feel like such a full free, free release. You've got the weight of the club working for you now. Using the swing weight. Yeah, it, fe it feels like I'm not, I'm not really restricting my hands. Brilliant. And you're going to start to use the bounce better because you're going to, you're going to present that bounce back. You've been holding it off. You've been putting yeah. it sharp, sharp there. Then you've got to try and get some bounce back. And it's like your body was all over. Yeah, I've been very much like this. Yeah. Oh, that's just that's a six, six yards and stopped. That's good. That's all then for the crowd. Oh, no, just hit the window and gone over next door. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Kids are knocking. <laughs> I like that one. You can take it a step further with that lane. You know this. Imagine you were throwing the floor in the direction you want them on the trajectory. Just about to feel that out on the trajectory. Stop, stop, by the way, where you would let go of it. So it's a, it's a throwing action with the body, with the arms, with the hands, with wrists, with the feet. It's a throwing action. Oh, that nearly went, that went straight up. That went straight up about four feet. <laughs> oh. Quality. What's coming in there? It's in there. I still don't have the conservative route. Good job, is that real ball for me? I don't know where anyone. You are. Are these, what are these? Are they bare balls? Are these, are these real? No, these are plastic, plastic yeah, lightweight. Like, well, I was going to say you'll have their windows left. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. It's an expensive lockdown. <laughs> You've been plus two, but it's cost you about five grand in windows. That feels like... It's a bit... that the right wrist there. Yeah. It feels like it's cocking totally different. You're using it. You've not been using that lever. No. And that's the lever we need for that. What that's doing, Lee, that all this, all this power that you're generating, not a lot in pitching, but you're creating the energy, you're transferring it, it's that wrist that releases it through to the floor. If you're not using that, you're transferring it through the arm now and through the shoulder here. And then this is a big movement. You're losing that finesse, that fine touch. And now you're just reconnecting with it. And you get, you're getting really playful with it, so you can start to challenge yourself. I mean, I think you're already doing that, really. We know, we know the importance of play. Because play is not, it's, it's fun, but it's serious. Like we talked about kids when they're playing, 
Yeah, yeah, that's incredible. So what's 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 the difference between that and the full swing when I'm not trying to lob it up? No, exactly. So with the full swing, you go in and with the full swing, what I'd do is probably just practice some chip and runs with like a seven iron and do the same thing. What's it feel like? And what you'll find is your your release will be further back, probably. You'll probably actually you'll be letting go of the ball here to shoot it low. Not here. And so you put the club in, I'll tell you where your ball position wants to be, where your setup wants to be, and how you want to feel. So you get what you recognize you now is all the different, the different release patterns. But it's got you. But you're creating these release just by imagining you throwing. So I reckon what we'll do though is we'll call it a day, although I'm going to miss out zeros later. Say that again. Well, what we'll do is, I think we'll call it a day here now, because we've done well, and because otherwise I'm going to miss Ali Zeros later. Perfect. Final episode tonight against the Germans, isn't it? Germans tonight's a big one. We're not going to give it away, but um, I can't. I can't give it away. No, of course you can't. Don't want you to, because we've got. You've got to keep it, keep it on the hook. Um. Uh, Absolutely. So I can't wait to see it tonight. So just very quickly, if I was to ask you in just a minute or two, very quick, just to wrap up what you've gone through there. What's you, how do you feel now at the end in comparison to the beginning in respect to the swing, the feel of it, the perception of the shot, how easy it fell in comparison? Uh, I feel like... Um... The release point's far further ahead of me than I thought. Uh, I feel as though I'm not flicking my wrist at it, but I am feeling the release of it. And I feel as I've got more bend, more, more sort of... Side I'm pulling more down here. I can could, I could, I could feel my love handles creasing up rather than sort of... Yeah, my, my lockdown love handles are creasing. Um, um, bigger ones than you. Rather, rather than me trying to come up and out of it this way. Yeah. Yeah, because I've been coming, I'm going to show you, I've been coming more that way. Yeah. And now I feel more this way. Yeah. Wow. And not once have we told you how to move or what you have to do, you've just explored and found it. Yeah, yeah. Just threw, just, just, just threw a couple of balls, felt the release where I wanted to go, high or low. And what you were doing is you were throwing the ball in response to an intention. So first of all, you had a picture of what you wanted to do, and then your body moved, and then you recognised what you were doing. Yeah. Well, be, before, yeah. before if, if I'd have had the ball that far forward, I would have just expected to thin it. Really? Wow. Yeah. So what's important now is what you've just been mentioning all there with all this feeling, that was in relation to the high shot, because we've been playing the high, high 60 degrees, which typically before you would have not felt too comfortable, but now you're feeling that natural release and you're knowing that, and you're also feeling you've been developing the awareness that the movement your body's making. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, totally starting to recognise patterns, and this is something on the golf course that's really important. When you're making a practice swing, what does that practice swing mean? What's the intention of that practice swing? So you're not just making a swing just to kind of warm up. There's an element to that, but you're actually making a practice swing with purpose and meaning, because of the shot behind it. And it all, yeah. it all fuses together. Massive, mass unbelievable. All right, mate. Brilliant. I'm going to get off and get a beer and get myself ready for Harry's Heroes. Have a good evening, mate. Me too. See you later. Have a couple, couple of tinnies. Cheers for that, man. Cheers, pal. We'll be in touch. Cheers, yeah. Marcus. Thanks, mate. Cheers, pal. See you later. Really appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thank you.